Now let me present you the application of analytics, a particular case study of application of analytics in health industry. For that I am presenting you a case study of HealthWage. HealthWage is a firm which works with healthcare insurance business provider. So all those insurers who are providing healthcare insurance with them it works. Now if you think of what is the biggest risk for the company, for the health insurance provider. The biggest risk is that people falling sick because when people are sick only at that time they will claim, right? If they are not sick they will not claim, right? So I mean think of health wage is working with health insurance provider and health ins for health insurance biggest risk is that people falling sick because that's where the claim comes. Now how can it reduce the loss or the cost of this health insurance provider. It can reduce if at all people do not feel sick, right? If people are not feeling sick, obviously they will not request for the claim and if they are not requesting for the claim, obviously the health insurance provider will not suffer the loss. So, but what it can do so that people do not feel sick? Here comes the application of analytics. What do they do? They have artificial intelligence to study the members, who are the members, the customers, their demographic because different demography like different age group has different propensity for the different disease. Some disease affect a particular gender and does not have so much impact on other gender. A particular disease can make an impact on a particular age group, in a particular area, all those things. So it studies members demographic, their claim patterns that how it is happening, their prescription, what kind of medicines they are using and what kind of lab procedures they are going through. Using these four things, so which demography they are, you know what kind of claims are coming from those areas, what kind of prescription a particular member is going through and what kind of lab procedure the customer is going through, it uses all these things uh, so that it can predict the risk. It can predict the risk that okay this customer is going to feel sick because of this reason. And what it does, it provides that to 1500 plus trained nurse who calls or male members to develop healthy behavior. So essentially the artificial intelligence produces an output which is very easily understood by these nurses and these nurses either call customer or if those customers who are not ready to take a call they send a mail to those customers so that using good food habits, good exercise patterns they can safeguard themselves from the disease and these are very very specific to the customer because these are specific to the customer need, customer age group and all those things. So these artificial intelligence provides what kind of inputs needs to be given to the customer so that they do not feel sick. Now think of what is the benefit? The benefit to the customer is that they will not feel sick and if they are not feeling sick they will not put a claim which is the benefit for the firm. Let me show you that what is the website of the health which says. It says we listen to our customer, apply science and technology, prepare our professional for success and demonstrate our result. If you re read here, HealthWage is committed to applying and advancing science to improve well-being. So they essentially work with external experts and develop and test proprietary models to enhance current and future capabilities. What is the benefit? It's a win-win win for the customer who they are not feeling sick and win for the firm because they do not have to pay the claim. What you need to understand the health care service can be improved greatly. If at all you have information about what is the local event has happened. For example if you know this is a winter season and this time the rain was not expected and all of a sudden rain ha happened and if you know that if rain has happened you know this is a weather anomaly and if you have past information that you know 
if all of a sudden in winter if you have a rain in these areas it leads to this kind of disease you know you can easily communicate to customers that this kind of disease is quite prone in those areas take care I mean you need to understand let's say for example if you know in June and July there are some areas where Kala Jar is going to happen right and suppose you know and if you start communicating people that okay this is the time where Kala Jar propagates a lot take care you know put something on the skin so that mosquito bites are rare you know uh, take care so that you know you are either using mosquito net or something that will help the customer. So essentially when you know local event, when you know weather anomaly and you have past information, it can help the customers so that they can get prepared. What is the benefit? The benefit is that the people will be able to safeguard themselves a lot and the healthcare expense of the whole government can be reduced because the precaution is easier than you know cure. So when people are taking care, they are not feeling sick. So obviously the cost will get reduced and people will also feel better because when they get sick, they start, they feel the need of many other things which otherwise a, a healthy person may not need. So essentially this helps the whole government, this helps the whole economy when people do not feel sick. 